Hey guys, I'm Arnold, and welcome to the Time Bomb Bombcast. I'm here with... Hi, I'm Franny. Mario. I'm Isaac. And uh, we're just a couple of guys who feel like talking about random stuff, like movies, video games, and yeah, pretty much just hang out and record. Pretty much a shorter intro with just a bunch of... Like, the rambling of four dudes with nothing better to do. Okay, and uh, today we're here at the Tamu Library, study room 304. Tell me you, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> and today is January 4th. All right. But it's a shout out to all the deers and the wildlife, the skunks and the javelinas and the does and the bucks. <laughs> okay, any other animals you want to talk about? <laughs> hey, those, those are all the animals I've seen the so far. And the <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the robins in the tree. I saw one one time. <laughs> there was a robin in a tree house? No, there was a robin on a tree woodpecker. And there was another woodpecker. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, 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 don't scream. Okay, sorry. All right, Continue. so wait. Robins are woodpeckers? <laughs> Ro- aren't robins the red birds? The, aren't those cardinals? Red robin. Uh, Yo, you've never seen the fish. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, now we're sponsored by Red Robin, okay, guys. Let's get back on track. I've never been to one, dude. I've always wanted to try. Dude, they're really good. It's really? a really good burger place, but it's, it's not like it expensive? it's not fucking amazing. It's it's a little bit expensive. Like, dude, we should go to Foot Rutgers. Dude, do you guys want to go to Fud Rutgers after this? You're now oh, included dude. on our plans, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, end the no, podcast. Yeah. We're going to Fud Rutgers. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're done here. No, let, let's go to Arby's. They have that bell, and when you ring it, dude, that's different. the only reason why you want to go <laughs> to Arby's. And everyone yeah. has that bell along your shoulders. And, and all that, and all the workers in the back, they all go woo. <laughs> 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 That is what entertains our friend Isaac. <laughs> Give Isaac a bell. He's, he'll love you forever. <laughs> like that little Mexican dude driving on... Uh, okay, Franny, okay, Franny, okay Franny, story. Franny has a story about the okay, bell. Okay, so now they brought up the bell. So, as you guys might be aware, Christmas was not too long ago. Uh, my dad lives in Nuevo Laredo, so I want to go visit him, right? That's Mexico. Yeah, it's in Mexico. So, I was there, and uh, I had this neighbor, weird-ass dude. He passes by, like, every time I'm there, he passes by, like, at 2 in the morning, and he's selling hot dogs. Like, I don't know who buys the hot dogs at 2 in the morning, aside from me, because, you know, like, I really don't sleep much. So, uh, this this time, I think, I, it was New Year's, right? I it, you me. said it was New Year's. Yeah, yeah it was, it was when you texted me. When I texted you, yeah, because I kind of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't New Year's, and... Uh, I was with this guy. I was eating a hot dog. We were talking. You're eating his hot dog? I wasn't eating his hot dog. <laughs> you, like, you like wieners, bro? <laughs> okay, yeah. continue. Okay, so, continue. <laughs> so, well, yeah. So, I was talking to this guy, and I was eating I was eating a hot dog and talking to him. Like, hey, man, what's up? Happy New Year. You too. Why the fuck do you sell hot dogs at 2 a.m.? You know, typical conversation shit. And uh, not that far off in the distance. I would say, like, two, maybe three streets away. It sounded really close. We hear like shots, dude, like blap, blap, blap. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Not what kind not, of gun is that? <laughs> it's a very bad gun malfunctioning. I don't know. A couple <laughs> minutes later, a couple more shots, and then it just keeps going on. Dude, fuck it. I run to my house, and off in the distance, I hear this guy running off his little bell ring, like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the gist of the story is I, I was very close to a gunfight in. No, Laredo. Can you do that sound again? The the bell. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> there you go, guys. I can just imagine him though. Like, <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh fuck my wiener! <laughs> <laughs> the next day, I saw him selling hot dogs again at two in the morning. That guy is fucking determined. Dude, <laughs> wow, he was to sell his two a.m. hot dogs. <laughs> like hot dogs, bro. Dude, the hot dogs there are fucking yeah, amazing. Yeah, they're fucking good. They're Dude, so good. like, okay, so let's let's break down the hot dog. There's the bun, of it, course. It's really good. But it's so it's, like, it's, it's bimbo bread, right? right? It's fried. Yeah, it's, it's fried. Bread, it's fried. Like, exactly they, right. Yeah. And then there's the wiener. It's yeah. any run of the mill wiener. It has bacon. In it's around. wrapped bacon in, around it. Wrapped bacon, or like uh, they've got like the like the big ones, like the ones like for like grilling, like the big wieners, like the, <laughs> like the, the, the twelve inch. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, the yeah. Arnold, the Arnold size. Shut one. the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> They get those and like they cut them in half now and like they put like cheese inside and mm-hmm. they wrap that in bacon, so it's just like it's fucking amazing, dude. And then what else is on it? Like there's lettuce, there's tomato. There's, they put tomato. They put um, uh, onion. Uh, on, dude, it's just made, like a salad hot dog. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 beautiful, dude. It's dude. Just, like words cannot describe Mexico. I have yet to go to Mexico. The last time I went like across was 
three years ago, December. Dude, I haven't been there, like, in six, seven years. Dude, like, the last time I went, like, it was, like, we were at a hall, like, for a family thing. Yeah. I was like, fuck this. I want to go watch, like, Garfield in Spanish in my grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks when you have to watch so many shows in Spanish, man. I, the other day, I was watching My Dog Skip, a story about a dog. And it's so hard to picture, like, <laughs> because, it's, because it's settled in a town of rednecks. And it's so hard to picture the rednecks, but they're talking Spanish. You can. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mexican, that sounds so weird. It's Mexican voices overlapping the rednecks, and you're like, I can't picture them like that. It's not in character. It, the story sucks now. The movie's terrible. <laughs> Just letting you guys know, Isaac is a raging racist. <laughs> dude, yeah, you were, you are kind of a racist to your own kind. No, like, I'm not. Dude, like this guy complains constantly how about like they flood our mall parking lots and then they're like, <laughs> oh, they, they're like, shitty drivers, oh, they stink, and this and that. Wait, like, wait, whoa. Big question. Does he really refer to the Mexicans as like, dang? As in, like, the different he, people. Yeah, like, he says. No, but, no, racist, I'm not. I'm not fuck you, dude. Let, let me explain because you guys are getting it all wrong. I'm not racist. I'm not, I just hate niggas. I just hate niggas. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no I'm not. Shit just got racist. I'm, I'm not a racist Mexican to my own Mexicans. It's just that if they come over here, I want them to admit that I'm better than them. <laughs> oh, my Whoa. God. Whoa. <laughs> that sounds a little bit racist dude, to me, dude. Dude. Shit just got racist. <laughs> Shit just got Okay. Jacked. You don't even know them. Well, okay, not like that though. Not like you Dude, you're just like digging yourself I'm deeper and deeper into a hole. <laughs> just okay, just let's get off something. Let, 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 let me just finish. Let me just finish. No. I'm not racist. People I am not racist. Guy, okay, so. you're not racist. But and Bill Clinton didn't cheat on his wife, but <laughs> and, he, and he didn't get that And we job. didn't fake the moon landing. Yeah. <laughs> and and someone did find Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> and they found Nemo. They did find Nemo. They, they did find Nemo. They did find Nemo. Okay, wait. so that's can can I just finish my point without making? Uh, Alright, whatever. Go ahead. Shit. I'm not racist. It's just that I want a little in, like a little standoff. Like I'm standing up here and they're down there and that's that that's, that's, that's just, racist. No, that just feels okay. Racist. Okay, I think we're gonna cut this. We're either gonna edit this off or we're gonna just stop the conversation right here. Let's go to something else. Yeah. So Franny, you wanted a Vista Cruiser. I actually, yeah. Uh, I, I first saw one in that '70s show, <laughs> and being as as retro as I try to be, yes, I, I fit. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, off su- off subject for a little bit. Have you guys ever been called a hipster? Like, I, yeah, I, I hate it because there, there's no there's no right answer. If you're like, if if people tell you you're a hipster and you're like, dude. I'm not a hipster. Everyone's like, that's what a hipster would say. Yeah, yeah. And then if you say like, all right, yeah, dude, I'm a hipster. Like, you admit it. He's a hipster. <laughs> like, you, I, I, I think uh, my friend Dennis actually found a way around it. He told me, like, why don't you just say, like, I am who I am. You know, and then they'll be like, oh, like a hipster. And they'll be like, I am who I am. Like, I'm me. I'm, yeah, but like, I think the reason people call you hipsters, though, is because people are, like, here. They don't really know a lot of stuff. Like, it's just mainstream yeah so like if you're to some bands that not a lot of people know you're automatically a hipster yeah like you you fucking go to like a little show here and then like people will be like i never heard of them you're a hipster hipster. like it's like it's a local band dude well how did how did this word hipster come about anyway well hipster i'm pretty sure before like it got its name it's actually been around since the 40s yeah well you know the subject yeah history major here over fuck yeah uh (laughs) If I remember correctly, don't quote me on this because I might get some of my details wrong. Hipster was has been around since like the forties, and they're like people who like teenagers mainly who would purposely not get jobs and would like only use like retro things. So like what a hipster is today, but they've been doing it since the forties, and they've been using the word hipster, and they put it like they use that same like terminology with like the beatniks. Mm-hmm. And they just used it on the hippies as well. Like yeah. hi- hippies is just a derivatory term of hipster. Oh, okay. So this is what I was like. Back to the Vista Cruiser. Okay. Well, <laughs> actually, uh, Nick, who lives in California, yeah. he told me, uh, well, he's actually providing music for some of our shit. Uh, he told me that people in California they say hipster is a good thing for some reason. Like they don't know the actual like well term see, of it. I I don't I, I don't view hipster as a negative term it's like a whatever I just find it like annoying when yeah. people just throw that label on you 
You know, like if I wanted to call myself a hipster, I, I would fucking call myself a hipster. Yeah. But I don't feel like subjecting myself to like, yeah, dude, I'm hip. Like, all right, cool. Just don't say it to me every time you see me. Like, hey, there's a hipster. It's or a hip- joke that's totally yeah. been out of line, like uh, overused. I believe. Yeah, it's just an overused yo- joke. But yoke. <laughs> yoke. The Mexican just came out. Of <laughs> no more yokes. No more yokes. No more yokes. Go back to my yab. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac is probably thinking that he's above me now. <laughs> no, because I'm not a racist. I'm not okay, a racist. whatever. We're not. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Is there anything else? I saw, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but on Hulu, they have this Criterion collection. Criterion? Yes. It's like, all right, so like critics, right? Critics, critic yeah. movies. Mm-hmm. Okay. They of critique. course. They critique. <laughs> what is this? Critics critic criticizing critics. Oh no! Is that it? No, no, no. Oh. It's all like the critics. They gather around and they're like, "Okay, so we're gonna get all the the best movies from around, right?" Mm-hmm. So like, you got Benjamin Button in there. You got like the uh, Dark Knight or no? Like, you don't got the Dark Knight. They gotta be good. Reservoir Dogs. No. No. What? No. They gotta be good. Like they gotta Battle be, Royale. No, man. They gotta be like emotionally touching. Like they oh. gotta be like Marley and me. No, I got it. Got you in the heart. What the, heck? What the, what the heck? Throwback. Hey, man. Wait, wait, God, they got a story to tell. <laughs> it reminds me of something. Emotionally touching movies. There was this guy who I used to like talk to back in middle school, mm-hmm. and we were talking about like movies and whatever. So he was like, "What was the last movie that made you cry?" Uh, I didn't know what to answer because yeah. I, 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 it's been a long time since I cried in a movie. I know the first time, the first movie I cried too. So anyway, so I'm like, dude, I, I really don't know. Like, I mainly just see like comedies and stuff, so I wouldn't know. Like, I haven't cried in a movie in a while. Which one was the last movie you cried to? He told me this, and this, the, this is the reason we don't talk anymore. It's like <laughs> I cried to <during> Stuart Little. <laughs> 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 and I was like, you cried doing Stuart Little? And he's like, yeah, gives a story about fitting in. I'm like, <laughs> I haven't talked to that guy since. Speaking about crying in a movie, I cl- I did cry in the movie Click. Because it's, Dude, it's, that, supposed, it's that's, supposed to be a comedy, that's but the I did first, cry. That's the no, first theater yeah. film that I ever... Well, the first time in theater I did cry. Of Adam Sandler. Yeah, well, like, that's the first movie I, I cried in theaters. Like, it yeah. was just, like, a few, two tears. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to save my masculinity here, but um, <laughs> I did cry to I Am Sam when I was younger, and then watched it two years later, fucking laughed my balls off, and you know then when we? I, Am I Am Sam. Sam. Oh, I know, dude, that movie's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> we have no souls, and then I also cried to that one like Shia LaBeouf movie that was on Disney where he played a Both? retard. Oh no, which one? is not even Stevens. Yeah, save the jokes. <laughs> but yeah, like. This click was the first like place I cried in a theater, like the first movie I cried in a theater. Click yeah. was actually like an emotional movie. Dude. It like, was a pretty emotional movie. What 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 about you, Mario? What movies you cried to? I don't know, man. I cried in a lot of movies actually. <laughs> I, I cried. Did. I cried in Pineapple Express. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because James Franco and Seth Rogen they break up. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something like a stoner would say, like the one movie I cried in. Dude. Yeah, Pineapple it's Express when they stop hanging out, man. It, it, it reminds me of my relationship with my old dealer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did cry during the movie Air Bud. <laughs> oh my god! The, the basketball, the basketball movie one. Because he's which one? The Air Buddies? Air? Oh. No, no, just Air Bud. The the very first one, I think. Yeah, the, the, one, when, the one where he plays basketball. Because <laughs> there's this, there's that one. The scene one where he starts stealing pot. Dude. No, because because the boy is like he's telling the, he's, he steals the dog back from the clown or the the, the, antag- the antagonist in the movie. And then he lets the dog go. And he's like, get out of here! And the dog doesn't want to leave. He's like, go get! And like, he just leaves the dog. And I'm like, there. When I was I was small, I was small. Like twelve. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like yesterday, <laughs> I was smaller than I am. Today. And then you were just crying. And, and yeah, because that was like, pretty sad. Did right you there. sob? Did you like like tear? Just a like bit, a or like tear. How, what, what was the type of crying? Just like you know, I did tear, but it's just because I like dogs. I'm a dog person. I hate so I if, hate cats. If we showed you Old Yeller, would you do you think you would like cry your balls off? I don't. I never seen that movie. So dude, I think it's time to see dude. Old Yeller with Isaac. What is that? It's it's like it's old yeah it's an old movie old movie where like this guy this boy loves his dog and later on in the end spoiler alert which I fucking everyone yeah. knows the ending um, he kills the dog out back because he has rabies <laughs> shit dude 
Like I hate it. <laughs> you want to cringe? I, I, I hate. I hate it when people terrorize with dogs. I, I hate that stupid Sarah McLaughlin video. Dude, that that video. Dude, fuck. <laughs> they started playing Christmas songs to those commercials now. Yes. Like, because it is a Christmas song. You better not. Cry. It's an old song. You better yeah, I not know. cry. But you better not pout. I'm telling you why. If you cry one more time, this dog will die. <laughs> 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 kind of funny how how it rhymed. Did you plan this? No. no. <laughs> Dude, that was pretty good. That was lyrics. You should be a lyrical freestylist, yo. You poetry slam. <laughs> poetry slam. I went to the theater the other day. <laughs> I cried to click. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> the the one movie that. I cried in, and it was like not sobs, but I did shed more than one tear. It was uh, AI, artificial intelligence. I'm wait, wait, which one's that one? It's the one with like Steven Spielberg, and it's like it's like this kid. Oh, I never seen that movie. It's like this kid, and he's like a robot. Like, uh, like this family buys him because they only have like one. Like they only have one kid, and that kid wants a brother. Mm-hmm. So they buy this robot. Like he's like, and they program him to like you know. Uh, uh, be good to his brother but like since he's a robot he doesn't like understand like boundaries or whatever like he almost nearly kills his human brother like two or three times so his mom just leaves him on the side of the road oh, and for the rest of the movie this little robot child is trying to get back to his mother mm-hmm. so it's like a really like emotional movie yeah and like I, I cried in the ending I don't know if I should spoil it for you uh, guys. spoiler alert spoiler AI. alert oh, uh, so at the ending of the movie uh, it's kind of like a Pinocchio kind of thing. So he's looking for the blue. Turns into a real boy. No, he, he he's looking for <laughs> Pinocchio. No, not for Pinocchio. He's looking for he's the looking for Pinocchio. He's looking for the blue fairy yeah. to wish to be back home. So near the end of the movie, he finds that there's like a whole factory of like a bunch of robots who look exactly like him. So he realizes he's he's not real. So he just like jumps into a lake and like it cuts to like 300 years in the future. That lake is frozen. Some aliens find them like at the bottom of the of the lake. Mm-hmm. They look at his mem like at his memory, and they find that this entire time he was looking for his mom. So they they bring his mom back to life mm-hmm. for a period of twenty four hours, just so he can just so he could be with his mom one last time. Oh wow! If that does not make you tear up when you watch it, you are the most heartless human being. <laughs> well, we did laugh history. at I Am Sam. We did laugh at <laughs> I Am Sam, but... Wait, what? Is this a Pinocchio, like, part two or what? No. What it's, the fuck? It's, it's a, it's no, a, it's, it's AI, the Steven Spielberg movie. Yeah, it, it's, it's no. a really good movie. Did you write it? Uh, I don't know if you wrote it. Then why are we talking about Pinocchio? It, it's it's like because Pinocchio. The, the, the movie references Pinocchio. Okay. Like the, the character feels that he's oh, Pinocchio. Right. Like new age kind of. Right? Yeah, and mm-hmm. he's looking for the blue fairy so he could be with his mom. It's like the Wizard Pin- of Oz and the new movie that's coming out of Oz. Well, not really because no. it, 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 it's Cause not because it, they don't link. Like, this one, it's like, it's it, like it, it, it was inspired. Yeah. It was like influenced. like like the little like the little boy like the main character. His mom reads him Pinocchio when he's a kid. So it's like the blue fairy is a major theme in the movie because he's like I want to. Why the fuck are you flipping me off? I'm trying to Don't flip the him off, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Asshole? <laughs> All right, so... So, yeah, his, like, his favorite story is Pinocchio. So he's looking for the blue fairy to reunite with his mom. The, the blue fairy is a major theme in the movie. That's yeah. that's how Pinocchio comes into play, you dipshit. <laughs> so, okay. All right, excuse us, because I said it's a, it's a metaphor. It's an analogy. It's not I, a metaphor of the I damn show. It's influenced. Do you know what influenced means? Yes, okay, never mind. That's I, 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 I brought right, up next Pinocchio subject, next it's, subject, yeah. whatever, fuck it. So Mario, what are you looking up on your computer? <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to uh, sell my books. Saw that oh, porn. Saw that porn. Dude, this BioLab book that I was selling for 20, no one wanted to buy it. On, mm-hmm. Online it's for 60, it's almost out it for 60. Do they have trade-ins? Dude, I love that. Yeah, they have trade-ins on Amazon for 56. Dude, I would do, do gift card from Amazon, dude, oh, fuck but it. I want to I wanna get the money, man. Dude, I, I, I dude, can get 65. I love Amazon in because I buy now sponsored by Amazon. <laughs> hey Amazon, if you want to sponsor us, uh, you can contact us at timebombsquad at gmail dot com. Uh, <laughs> but no, dude, like I have about like 80 bucks from like left, and I've bought so much but shit. How long? How long do they take? The, the gift card? Like you, you once you send it in. How do you send it in? Like you get your own box and they you print out a stamp and you tape it on the box, take it to the post office and then once, once they get it, they'll either tell you it's good, or it's not good. And if you put that you want it returned if it they don't like it, then that's free shipping back towards you and then you can sell it like in your town or whatever. 
but if it's good, they'll give you like the the gift card like instantly, and so you can go buy stuff. Like I bought like Alien Hominid from that. I bought like my some Scott the Scott Pilgrim box set, and I still have money left over. What I love about the Amazon.com is that because I just recently got the Kindle Fire, the new one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I love it how it's like compatible with that, and they're both you know it linked it sound like together. An advertisement. <laughs> what but I love about I'm not sponsoring Kindle Fires. Yeah, and what, what, this is our opinion. This is our opinion. This is just my opinion, and I love it. And American Jobs, dude. dude we're, we're, Fuck you, Apple. You're, <laughs> you're playing uh, the game of life on it, right? Yeah, I love that game, man. The game, <laughs> the game of life. You called me and Franny for, to ask us if we wanted the career or just go for uh, or go to college. Go to college. Yeah, funny, funny story <laughs> about that is that I became the most successful one because I, I was the accountant. I went to college and everything. Oh, how the game of life lies to you. And it, <laughs> funny thing about Franny is that he chose the career of college, but... He got a card because he landed on one spot, and he got a card that he dropped out. Next thing you know, he got married, very young, probably. And well, I wouldn't doubt it. Ar- Arno, Arno was just a just an entertainer, only making fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen? You said wait, wait, fifty. Wait, Dude, 50? it doesn't matter. But who's winning right now? That's all we care about in the game of life. Who's winning? Well, let's say Joseph's at the bottom of the food chain right now because he was a hairstylist. <laughs> I'm sorry to any hairstylists who are listening to us at the moment. <laughs> there goes our hairstylist. If you ever, oh, hey, uh, but, but good thing about them. Oh, dude, he was making fifteen thousand dollars. Hey, that's livable. Yeah, dude. That's livable. Like, fuck, dude. Like, you can buy a trailer house and shit like that. Shit, really dude, if, if, maybe that game's doable. Maybe it's a reference to your real life, dude. If it's a reference to your real life. It's fucking playing a joke on you because you're never gonna be shit eyes. Yeah, I I'm became a, I became a millionaire three times in a row. That just shows that you're good at board games. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Funny like, thing is, is, someone did, did that, when I put that on Facebook. Someone actually did put, "Oh, it just means you're good at board games." So great. He great. actually googled, "Does the game of life influence my life?" <laughs> oh my god! I never googled that. <laughs> well, well, then how come you looked it up on Google on Yahoo Answer and you got? It just means you're good at board games. <laughs> no, so, someone comment. I put the thing on Facebook. As a Who static. cares? Just shut the fuck up about Facebook. All right. So, um, okay, what were we talking about? So, like, if he, if if he thinks the game of life is gonna make him a millionaire, they better make like fucking game of life competitions, like televised. Yeah. With, like a one hundred thousand. <laughs> dude, it'll be like prize. American Gladiator all over again, dude. American but <laughs> with the game of life. <laughs> well, I, le- I also riveting, have, I also riveting. have the game. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? And I've won. Quite amount of time. Oh, good, you're amazing. You're sixth grade level. <laughs> no, dude, the questions that they ask are pretty. Intense. They're fucking asinine. That's what I'm, dude. I fucking went redneck and said asinine. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> Fuck you, those Jeff Foxworthy. Asinine. <laughs> One her face is ten, but her ass is nine. <laughs> <laughs> You know when you're redneck. Uh, no, Jeff Foxworthy. No, stop. And there goes our Jeff Foxworthy viewers. They took our job. They took our job. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, I, I have a confession to make. What's that? I'm an Amazon virgin. I've never used Amazon. You've never used Amazon? I've never used Amazon. Dude, as soon as you start using Amazon, you're going to be fucking hooked. It's like eBay. Have you used, like, I, I've used eBay. You use eBay? Oh, yeah, you bought your dad that. Uh, uh, the, the Top, top Gun. Gun. Yeah, the Top Gun replica jacket. Oh. Which Isaac's super jealous of. Which one is that? It's uh, a like bomber jacket? Or it's the bomber jacket, but it's still on the Tom Cruise for it. And it has like all the patches and everything, dude. It was 129 bucks. That's fucking nice. I saw a picture with your dad wearing it. It fit him well? Yeah, fuck it. Dude, heck yeah, that's badass. I have yet to see that picture. Dude, you just... You well, Isaac and I just got finished getting paid for our firework duty. I know I really want to buy a leather jacket. You should get that, the bomber jacket. Yeah. But not a bomber jacket. You, you sell one? I'm selling. Yeah, I sold one for a hundred bucks. Dude, you're too tall. But, for yeah, he's too tall for me. Dude, you tried to sell me pants, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm wearing oh, clown I know, pants." Dude, I saw that. I remember that. <laughs> Fucking clown bol- bolitas over here, dude. Mm. Fuck that guy. Okay, for those that are not from Laredo, clown bolitas is a like a. A clown here, a clown and, here and dude, is it a dude or a guy? It, 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 it's a dude. My, my, uh, my stepdad actually like he used to work at IBC, and yeah. Cambolitas was one of his clients. So <laughs> Cambolitas would, he would go inside the store, like the, no, the bank. Like, Cambolitas, <laughs> Cambolitas would invite us to every party that he was like. Going to. Like going to even if we didn't know whose party it was we would get Dude, invited so exclusive we would, so, so we would go but here's the thing though and my old elementary school I used to go to Buenos Aires Elementary it got torn down and it got renamed so mm-hmm. my last year there my third grade year for Red Ribbon Week 
my stepdad had the amazing idea to have Clambolitas do like a little show for <laughs> all the kids. So there's this one thing that Clambolitas likes to do. And even though right now I am the lead singer at Time Bomb, I, I, I wasn't always the extroverted charming man that I am today. <laughs> so, Were you charming? <laughs> shut the fuck Extroverted? up. Extroverted? <laughs> so, so, <Huh>? anyway, <laughs> so anyway, uh, Clambolitas would do this thing in which he would like pick out like a guy and a girl and he would make them go up and lip sync to like the biggest like song of the day. So yeah. girls would lip sync and dance around for like a minute to Britney Spears. And for some reason, for the guys, he would make them dance Ricky Martin. Yeah, and he would like give him a microphone and make him lip sync Greek and Martin song. Since I am his like his friend's kid, he wanted me to do it, mm-hmm. and I said no. And here's where I believe I was like nine, and here's where I believe that Clambolitas crossed the line. He started pulling on my <laughs> leg to try to get me to the center of the stage. You're holding on. To I was I was holding on to my teacher's chair. I was like I don't want to go, and he was pulling on me like you're gonna fucking do it. So, <laughs> oh my god! I'm, so ever since that day, I have never like. After that, do you have clown phobia now? No, well, slightly. So ever since that day, <laughs> back in like, like when I was younger, and clown bolitas would invite us to parties, and my dad would be like, "You want to go?" I'd be like, "Fuck that! I'm <laughs> I'm staying as far away from that guy as I possibly can." <laughs> so I'd stay either home alone, or I would have to go to my like aunt's house because I just didn't want to go near clown bolitas. Because Jesus Christ, Dude, dude that's I was nine years old, and he was pulling on my leg, like trying to force me. And I was like, if I, no means no, bro. Out of all the parties I've been here, like with, with little, when I was little, yeah, dude, I've only seen him like twice. I'm surprised. I saw him. Wait, the o- the only upside that I saw to this was like free candy bags, free food, Fuck and free yeah. cake. Even if we didn't know who the fuck it was. Yeah, dude, you didn't even have to. Ta- you didn't have to take a present. We didn't take presents, dude. We just dude, fuck yeah. I still have yet to see this clown. You haven't seen Clown Bolitas? No. He drives a van, doesn't he? He drives a Clown oh, Bolitas. Oh, that, that sounds kind of creepy, you know, it, a clown driving a van, you know. It is windowless, children. Dude, I'm pretty sure, like, you're going to be scared shitless when you once you see him. I'm not scared of clowns, though. Dude, you, you're probably going to be scared of being kidnapped again. <laughs> Dude, you, you're afraid of going to the bathroom alone. I'm like, not afraid Okay, of let's, ex- let, uh, let's explain to the audience why he's Isaac, afraid. Please. Isaac, you want to explain your kidnapping I'm, I'm, story? I'm not afraid of going to the bathroom alone, but yes, when I was a kid, I was almost kidnapped. How? Oh, wow. how? How? Where? How, how, where was this? How did it okay, happen? Okay, the story. Aftermath, you know. You know. Okay, I think I was like about six years old, five years old, probably four. And yes, I can remember back to then, because it's a big event that happened. <laughs> so my, th- I was staying at my gr- at my tia's house. Hey, no texting. Uh, all right, keep going. No texting, dude. I want to say the story. Dude, it's because. All right. Okay, up. I was staying at my tia's house and my tia decides uh, with, on her other side of the family of my uncle's side which I'm not really re- blood related but to go to a party at the home under because at the time it was still open so we go to that party there's that little store where they sell the baseball bats and everything like that and where you, they give out the tokens I guess or whatever stuff like that at the store I went inside by myself and there was a man following me and <laughs> and, that, and and he was following me <laughs> And the whole time you're thinking about like, what's the where's the cash register, dude? And he's just there. He doesn't know. <laughs> and then that's when my tia comes running, running in. She's like, I see, I see, I see. And I go, and I go running to her. And I never known about kidnappers because, not to them, my mom never told me what a kidnapper was or anything yeah. like that. You know, I was still, you know, stupid. Whatever. <laughs> I wasn't stupid. I, I didn't know that shit existed. I didn't know what kidnapping was. And then that's when the the guy runs off. He runs through the doors and everything. And then that's when the cash register dudes, the cash register guy that manages the store there, there's only one guy that works there. And he's he was like telling my tia, I thought he was with that man. I thought he belonged to him. And then my tia is like, no, no, no. And, and everyone's freaking out. And then that's just the story about <laughs> it. And then my tia is mad at me for the rest of the night. You know, I have to stay with her at the party. I couldn't wander off by myself, which is a good thing. You know, I, I didn't get kidnapped. What if? But... What if, like, you did get kidnapped? Like, would you think that he, had, he like, Isaac would have a life of luxury? Like, like, like it's like, I'll give you anything you want. It turns boy. out his kidnapped life is much better. It would have been much better than <laughs> And he doesn't have friends who fucking call him names. <laughs> like, Dude, like, the- like, the guy would be like, oh, okay, you know, like... Here's a, here's a car. Like, you'd be having, like, a new Camaro or whatever the fucking car you like. You'd be living in a house. You'd be, like, fucking bitches. Like, you'd, you'd have all your swag that you like or whatever. But the thing is, he's like, 
Can I put it in your butt like every once in a while? <laughs> Dude, that, I don't want to imagine getting kidnapped because that's fucking scary, man. Like your ass. It would not, would be, it would the not be a life like that. <laughs> like that hole. You fart and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't. It wouldn't be a life like that though. Reality is, you know, I would have. I, w- okay, I wouldn't be alive by now. Yeah, you probably would be dead. I'd be dead. Mm. All right, we'd find someone else for the podcast. Like, you, you never even like noticed the guy would have been there had your tia not yelled at you. So like, I, I don't consider it as a kidnapping. I just consider it some creepy dude following some kid. What if it was like a George Costanza moment where it's like he's like just walking the same direction as the kid to go to like to the same place where you're yeah, going, so funny, but <laughs> but the, but the, your aunt yells and he was like, "Shit, I have to leave because I don't want to be like." Like, questioned and stuff because of this kid, you See, know? It, that is a very strong puzzle. That, that probably could have been no, what actually it, it, happened. No, because it was a big deal in that story. It was more Did you touch that. your wiener? No, no dude. Did you touch your wiener? But he was your... following me real close. You touch your bubble? Anyway, your bubble. And, <laughs> and that's pretty suspicious that when my tia comes in, he went running off. Dude, I could totally imagine dude, a George Costanza moment. I would be running out if some fucking lady comes out and be like, I think, I think, I think. I'd be like, oh, shit. Like, I'm in the... <laughs> <laughs> I uh, think that's a video right there. <laughs> like, like, I don't want to be Mis- close. Mis- I, I don't want to be kidnapped. Dude, okay, I, well. I don't want to be close to the motherfucking lady who's yelling at the top of her fucking lungs. <laughs> 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 I can get okay, well. away from there as I can. Okay, besides that, I don't like talking about it. It's traumatizing. Let's get over it. Let's go to something else. <laughs> New story. That's why, dude, that's why you're fucked up. <laughs> like how Albert said it, my boss. Oh, well, yeah, like our boss at the fireworks stand said, like, like, man, that's why you're messed up, dude. Like, as soon as you told him the story, like, that's why you, you're you a little weird, huh? <laughs> that was the weirdest swallow in the Dude, Fuck you. Albert is, is a cool boss, man. You know, he's he's like us, but a step above. Well, we might be cutting this in a little bit. We might be... Oh, okay, now nah, we're fine. We'll just keep doing the podcast. Uh, it's because I thought um, we had to leave because I have to take care of my niece. But that's besides the point. Right. She could handle herself on her own. No, it's good. <laughs> yeah, my four year old niece is gonna be all alone. She's not gonna kill herself. <laughs> as long as you've like child proofed the house. Fucking put pillows on everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, you put bubble wrap on Dude, her. That reminds <laughs> like, me. Okay, like let's talk about this opinion. All right. Leashes on kids. Leashes on kids. Dude, Dude, that is so funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think oh, that's kidding. gonna traumatize the Dude, but kid. the thing is like like, people who always say, like, no, that's fucking bad for your kids, that's the, the people who don't have kids. Like, I, kids run far. Kids run fast. It's easy to lose a kid. Like, just, like, like I can totally understand where it's abusive, where you treat them like a dog and pull them, like, yank them towards you. Dude, I saw that at the mall. <laughs> like, See, that's that's like a little fucked up. Oh, like, good. I just think the idea of, like, putting a kid on a leash is, like, a little... It's, it's, un, it's uneasy, yeah, but, yeah, like, like... like if you just like, it's like holding your kid, but yeah. with having your arms free, you know. One arm, you still have to hold on to the leash. You can just put it like around well, your wrist like, or something, you know. It's like I don't know, man. Like the first time I saw it was like I said, I saw the kid getting yanked, and it was like this. It was like this little like two year old little girl, and she had like this little like. Okay, like, see where where's the two year old gonna go? Like you know. Well, yeah, but like she's 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 there with like. This little like monkey backpack, and I was like, "Oh, that's cute." Then I realized I that one. the tail is extra long, and the mom is holding on to it. And I'm like, "And at first, I was like, is this kid on a fucking leash?" And then the little girl saw something. I don't know what she saw. Maybe she saw like another kid with a ball, or like those like that helicopter stand, like a little. Oh uh, yeah. Thing. Maybe she saw that, and she got excited, started running after it. Lady just like, that's yanked, fucked up. Yanks it. Yank. Baby fucking falls, and I'm like, should I laugh at this? Or should I feel disgusted? <laughs> Dude, if I was there, I would have <laughs> laughed. Like, but I would have been disgusted at myself. No, but Dude. it's a good idea. But when people do that kind of sh- stuff, that's what turns the tables on things. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a fine line with that. It's, it's like, like fireworks. The ban. It's because people do stupid shit with fireworks that they have to ban it for a year. Yeah, um, like when we threw M one fifties at your face. <laughs> Well, it is funny though. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> well, why was it nice? It's funny to lose a little, a little yeah, a finger here and there. No, yeah, I was lighting another firework. Ch- talking about sorry, whatever. Just talking just about shit that I didn't know whether to laugh or not. Yeah. I need to tell the story of my drunken uncle that <laughs> that like it was like a couple years ago, and it was in El Laredo in Mexico where I was spending Thanksgiving with my with my dad's family. So we have this uncle whose name I'm not gonna say for. Uh, <laughs> 
For safety purposes? For safety purposes. <laughs> not like your fucking family's gonna listen to this. Not like anyone's gonna listen to this, but yeah, okay. Whatever. So the thing about my uncle is, though, he's a, he's a, he, he's a bit of a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, he That's like, a bit of an understatement, too. A little bit of an understatement. He likes to drink. So there's, there's one Thanksgiving. It, it's going to go down in, in in history for me. It's going to go down in legend. So uh, for some reason, we decided not to have the turkey at the center of the table. Like I, 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 I always assumed that since the turkey is like the traditional meal, we have to put it like in the center. Yeah. I don't know. That's just me. Presentation. Mm-hmm. But no, it was like on the edge of the table right in front of my uncle. So my grandma's launching off into this speech about like giving thanks for us and how she loves all of us. Bullshit, she hates me. Besides the point. So You're gonna talk about that later? Yeah, they're gonna talk about that later. <laughs> so she's going off on her speech, right? And and I, I, I see my uncle, he's like already dozing off. Whatever. So it gets to a point where he's not even like holding himself anymore. He passes out flat <laughs> on the fucking turkey. <laughs> his, his face lands on the fucking turkey. And my whole family is just like, they don't know what to do. My grandma <laughs> is baffled. They're baffled. My grandma is angry. She's yelling. All the other adults, they're looking at each other like, how do we react to this? All my cousins, they're like, how do we react to this? Our parents aren't laughing. Our parents are like, what, what do we do? I'm just there on the other side. I'm like, oh my fucking God, his face landed on the fucking turkey. <laughs> 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 I just fucking lost wow, it. Wow, Thanksgiving without turkey, dude. Thanksgiving with the, we didn't eat the turkey just because like my uncle just fell face first on it. Oh, dude. There was there at least ham or something? Yeah, we had ham and we had like I hate mashed though. potatoes and like hey, you, you ate what you could. You know? Dude, I just I like Thanksgiving for the cranberry, like the jelly mm, cranberry. Yeah, dude, yeah. Sometimes I, I just want to go good. like. After Thanksgiving, I just buy like tons of cans and just eat it straight. Well, when we went to um to uh, Denny's for the for the Hobbit menu. Oh yeah, the Hobbit menu. Yeah, my, my sandwich. I got the turkey sandwich. It came with the cranberry. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, that yeah. Hobbit menu was really good. The I got, menu is good. Yeah. I got the yeah. Hobbit holes that one time. The we went. Is it still there? I don't Enjoy know. The the one with the eggs. It's the and one the with biscuit. like this cheesy bread or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, dude. That shit was good. I want, How long is it gonna be there, dude? Okay. Well, I want to hear the grandma story. Oh, okay. So we're going to see how your grandma hates you. All right. So All let's right. hear about it. So uh, my grandma in Nova Laredo, <laughs> she, uh, she kind of takes a disliking towards me. Kind of is an Be- understatement. Because I'm, I'm different to my other cousins. They, yeah. they all live in Mexico, so they, like, they follow like the trends and Mexican fashions or whatever. Everything, yeah. I, I live in the U.S., so... Let's put it this way. If you put me and my cousins in a lineup, you see like baggy pants, baggy pants, baggy pants, baggy pants, skinny ass pants. And then you see like... Like fucking painted on right now, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. You see like normal t-shirt polo, normal t-shirt polo, polo, then like deep ass (laughs) v-neck. Clean shaven, clean shaven, clean shaven, clean shaven beard. (laughs) Short hair, short hair, short hair, scraggly mop. (laughs) <laughs> I know, it's kind of weird how you that cycle. Like, yeah, whatever. So my grandma kind of dislikes that, and she hates the fact that I am very, to her, to her I am very Americanized. <laughs> you quote this. I quote this. So a couple days ago, uh, she, uh, she managed to tell me off in a way that none of my friends ever could, so just give I, up. I feel like it's a challenge now after you told me, but so let's hear it again. So what happened was that um, a lot of my cousins... They're all around my age. We're like six of us. Like, mm-hmm. like my grandma has had like three kids, and they've all had either like from two to three kids. So yeah, we're like six or seven of us. Yeah, around there. So, uh, so uh, yeah. So a lot of my cousins in Old Laredo, we're all around similar ages. A lot of them, if they're not in relationships, they're at like at least flirting with someone, right? So like they're they're speaking to someone. I don't speak much to my grandma, so. She doesn't know that maybe I'm also doing so, which I'm not, because yeah. I'm not good with ladies. Size the point. That's, I think that's all of us. Yeah. Except I don't know about you, Mark. Th- th- that's kind of what we're. You're the one that reads all the those books that you send me. <laughs> th- that, don't know me. Th- th- that's that's kind of what we're doing a podcast instead of talking to girls. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so anyway, my grandma manages to string a line of insults. That it, dude, it, it, she got me good. So she's like, "Hey, Paco, that's uh, my name is Francisco. That's like the common nickname for 
Francisco says, Paco. Mm-hmm. He's like, hey, Paco, how come you don't have a girlfriend? Is it the fact that you have that weird beard or the fact that you have long hair or the fact that your pants are green or the fact that they're super tight? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Every Oh my god. <laughs> she got me good and there's nothing I could have said. She that. butt fucked you. Like, I, from, from the corner of my eye I saw like the like the combo. The combo point. Like the yeah, combo. It's just marker. like fucking like Street Fighter like yeah. Boom, one hit, two, two hits, hits, three like, hits. My my grandma was pressing the button, it was like twenty four hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. And I I don't think it helped. That like the next day, I have two cousins. Their names I will not say, but they they lived in a, in the U.S. for a while, so they speak English. Mm-hmm. So English is like my comfort language. Like I, I prefer to speak English over Spanish. So mm-hmm. even if I'm in Nuevo Laredo, if I'm hanging out with my cousins, I speak English. So my grandma, she's like, "How come you only speak English? You think you're above us?" And this was my response: "What?" <laughs> 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 That's a pretty good response. I don't think that helped our relationship, Bumby. <laughs> My grandma's fucking crazy, dude. Like, I'm not even gonna talk about her. Fuck that. What do you guys? What about your crazy I relatives? Like you like your grandma? Yeah. Mine's mine's just normal. We what do. what is a normal grandma like, though? She, like, she doesn't hate me like Franny's grandma does. My grandma loves me, and we bake cookies together sometimes. My you. grandma's like, dude, that. you baked a. Okay, okay, so when you guys were out, whatever, like, he came to my house. When you were in Nuevo Laredo, he came to my house, and we were going to make cookies. This guy kept crying, like, dude, let's make a cookie cake. Dude, let's make a cookie cake. Cookie cake, cookie cake, cookie cake. Like a fucking five-year-old. And I'm like, dude, no, it's not going to work. Like, the, the outer crust, the outer, like, layers, they're going to be cooked. Everything in the middle, no, they're not, right? Raw, dude, basically. and we cooked it. And he's like, no, nah, 10 minutes is fine, you know? Like, what the fuck? Like, that's like one-fourth of its time, I'm because sure. Because it was my first experience making a cookie cake. Dude, it was my second, and I told you, I've done this before. But whatever. We end up eating raw cookie dough <laughs> for the... <laughs> Sounds, and <laughs> sounds like something I do like after like a massive breakup, like <laughs> like after a romantic comedy. Like I'm just on my couch watching novelas, eating raw cookie dough. <laughs> I thought you were the one. Man. <laughs> so recently, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, a year ago. A year ago. No, even then, like a year ago. After, uh, to all of our listeners out there, I've only had one girlfriend and I've been dumped nine times. Do the math. Same girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> But by the last breakup, I was just like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I would imagine, dude. Come on, like yeah. nine times dude, on like, and off. Like, after like the seventh, I was like, oh, so you'll be back in a month. <laughs> 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 after that last one, I was just like, you know what, dude? All right. I don't know how you put up with it. Like, I always tell myself, like, if it's an on and off thing, by the second time, I'm like, no. Nah, well, it was like, my first girlfriend, and I was like, hey, yeah. maybe. And I hated that I was so optimistic. I was like, hey, maybe things will work out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean first girlfriend or like first real girlfriend? She's like, well, was she the first real girlfriend? Yeah, she was the first real girlfriend. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. What, what about you, Isaac? How many girlfriends did it take to get to that first real girlfriend? I think like five. Because my first real girlfriend was like sophomore year. To all five of you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you flowers. <laughs> but then after, after, before that and after that, everything is just like three weeks, two weeks, a week probably, a month, and that's it. She went wow. out with this one girl, and then like a week later, she got engaged. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you, oh, Isaac's never told you. Okay, Isaac, you want to yeah, talk about you, that? Like, seriously? Yeah, seriously. Okay, so talk about the date. That what you, the fuck? Yeah. I don't know if it was a date, more like a hangout, but like I did Dude, like you it. were like, it's a date. Okay, sort of. Okay, whatever. So everything seems romantic, right? We're at the pond and everything. And like, oh ponds are fucking romantic. And, but I guess ponds are pretty romantic. What did you do before the pond? Huh? Like, like oh, we were at we were at the Winfield Park for like three fucking hours, I think. For a fucking you were just talking, time. Like just talking, 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 talking. So, but like after the day, you know, and, and then <laughs> like the next week on Facebook, engaged. Like okay, so <laughs> but explain your date, the whole date. Like yeah, let's hear the details. Because like we we kind of want to know. Like let's get down to the nitty gritty. Well, three hours at the park, talking, talking, talking. I'm like, let's go to Temu, and we drive around. 
See the deer, okay? And <laughs> that wild, that's a good day. See the deer. <laughs> what? The wild. Okay, whatever. What wildlife? Keep I guess. going. Uh, we go to the pond, and we're sitting there, like legs over the water, not in the water, but over it. And then you know, you see the the crows flying. I guess crows aren't romantic. They're, they're people fucking think, ravens. They're whatever. Have funny we don't have, have crows shit on them. <laughs> okay, whatever. So they fly, and I'm like, oh, well, they're pretty birds, you know. And then the waters, you know, the the fountain on the waters, you know, squirting out, you know. <laughs> oh, not, yeah, squirting out. Okay, is not, not pervertedly, but like, date. but anyways, and then, <laughs> you know, and then you see the, you see a, a fish pop out occasionally, like a turtle or whatever they are, I don't know. And you want a fucking you turtle and fish on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's my mom. And, and it's just funny. Okay, I guess Frankie's got to take this. All right, no, 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 keep going. Just, 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 like, yeah, and that's, and then so, Shit, she like puts her hand right there and, and you know, she's like, and it's getting awkwardly silent. She, she puts her hand Speaking, where? Like, right next to me, sort of in a way, and it's like, well, shit, does she want me to like hold her hand? And I'm like, and I'm thinking like, and then like, I just get the courage just to do it. Her hand's right here and like three inches away from mine because my I'm also sitting like this too. And then I, I just put it on top of her and then I hold it. And she's like, and it, I'm holding it for like at least five seconds in Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> wow, you three really counted. Because uh, it was kind of long. Were you counting and, how long you were holding her hand or how long it took for no, you to get a boner after holding her hand? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was holding it for, for quite a while. And then she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then that's how the day ends with that awkward thing. And the, then, I thought you told her like, you know, like, why can't I hold your hand? There's, there's moss. Everywhere. <laughs> no, I was like, I thought you were planning this because, like, I thought you put your hand there on purpose and, like, it was kind of your idea to come to the pond and sit here and, and stuff like that. And then, like, next week later, it says she's engaged on, on Facebook, Facebook wow. and she's literally getting married. Dude, I, I, I are you at least invited to the wedding? I don't know, man. I would, uh, I would, nah, go. Dude. dude, let's crash that wedding. Dude, I would love to pull off, pull off an American wedding crasher thing. It'd be funny. American wedding, American pie wedding crasher. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. My. my our own different kind of movie. Also, uh, Mario, I heard you, uh, you had a fling with our, our friend Lucy. I don't know if you uh, want to talk about that. Dude, no. I thought we're going to use no, nah, who cares? Lucy's oh. fucking... I don't, I don't give a shit. We're using your name. <laughs> Lucy and... Yeah, I didn't do shit, man. No. It was there. She told me you were fucking awkward, dude. Where? <laughs> like, that, like, at times, like, you would... I would just be, like, chilling... So I she told me random shit and I was like, dude, that's Mario. Let him be, you know? Yeah. Be. Dude, Mario's pretty badass, dude. dude yeah, but I was, just, cool. I was just there chilling, whatever. And then, like, I was like, You nah. never made a move, right? I was like, nah, this ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> like, you already knew. I was like, it's all good. Fuck it. But man. it was there, though. Fuck it, I don't need pussy. <laughs> 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 it was there. I, I kind of regret it. Not doing anything. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's all, all good. good. Yeah. Like, there's more fish in the sea. Well, probably not for us because we're doing podcasts <laughs> right now. But well, you never know, man. That's the thing about life. Maybe like girls like podcasters. Do you think? Maybe. Do you think the guys at Rooster Teeth always get poontang like after they record? <laughs> Who's Rooster Teeth? One of them has. You know Rooster Teeth? Okay. Well, like there's the guys who did Red, Red versus Blue, the Halo videos. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please no hate mail. <laughs> Please do not send us hate mail. <laughs> if you want to send Mario hate mail, no. here's his contact information. <laughs> We're not gonna give that away. We're not gonna give that away. <laughs> now, dude. Oh, uh, RTX is actually coming up, which is Rooster, Rooster Teeth's convention. It's a production company, so they do videos. But they they have a convention every once in a year, every year now. Are you gonna buy your tickets? Tickets actually come out tomorrow. Yeah. Well. I have the money I'll try yeah it. like I don't even know the prices are I'm hoping to buy it yeah I'm thinking about yeah actually you can stay at my place well my sister's place cause she's not gonna be there it's just me you and Nicole right yeah fuck yeah dude <coughs> fuck it fuck it hey what so what happened with your with your plan for what remember that you were like dude I'm just gonna text girls or like oh dude okay so Mario was <laughs> like yo dude it's the, it's the Dude, but it's, it's, true, a it's a time for cuddling. Girls yes. will be submissive for anything, you know? And I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to go down my contacts list and just be like, hey, yo, want to make out? <laughs> I went, I did that. I got about like two girls. Lucy didn't answer. <laughs> and uh, this other girl, 
She was just like, oh, you're joking, right? And I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that you're grown. <laughs> fuck, dude. I was just like, eh, fuck it. Like, I know I'm not going to get any tail here. Like, <laughs> She responded, though. She didn't respond, but it's whatever. Maybe that was a call. So, what, what did you text, though? I was like, like hey, I'm everyone? in town. <laughs> no, not everyone. Just a few. I was like, hey, I'm in town. Want to make out? <laughs> Fucking straight to the point. <laughs> That only two gonna be like, Lisa's gonna be like, dude, she hasn't texted me. Arnold's since. awkward. She hasn't texted me since, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there, there goes our relationship, there, <laughs> our friendship, uh, or yeah. whatever, you know, whatever that was. Yeah, whatever. It gone. It gone, man. It gone. It gone. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we're gonna start ending this podcast pretty soon. What other things you guys want to talk about? What do you have on your list, Isaac? Well, Isaac made a list of I was writing man. notes, but, you know, I didn't really... Okay, I put Star Wars games and movies, and I put How I Met Your Mother. I We're not going to fucking talk about How I Met Your Mother. Because, okay, never mind. Okay, Barbies but we, we could talk about uh, Star Wars Battlefront. That was, there's oh. actually going to be a third one, hopefully. Great game, dude. Dude, this is a really good game. Have you guys ever played Star Wars Battlefront? Dude, fuck. I, play, I used to play that game religiously. Yeah, dude. It's so... Like, even single player, like... Yeah, dude. Like, playing it is fucking awesome. Like, remember... Uh, uh, the Galactic Conquest. Yeah, I would do that all dude, the time, all dude. The time. I'd fuck up all the small planets. Just like shooting one Brad say, kid. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that, that video game deserves a big reboot. For dude, sure. For sure, dude. For sure. Well, I still Wait, have reboot or like... Well, not a reboot. Uh, just another continuation. Like they made it like... Star Wars Battlefront 3 rated M for mature like, dude like, that'd be fucking cool. it everywhere. first person I'd buy it dude <laughs> but what I wish they would actually do like just you know cause remember there was only like yeah it said 200 on the on the thing on the top the but, kill. but there was only like really 26 active things active yeah. you know units yeah I wish it could be like literally like two, like literally 200 people scrum- scrambled up and you're like in a big war well then so if you die real early you, that's it you have to wait till the end of the match it doesn't seem no right. you get to respawn I guess but you know save 10 spots how about like how about like uh, more than 26 uh, maybe at least like let's say a thousand like per against a thousand well that's that would make and it then, a lot cooler and then you get 10 respawns you know it'll be a, I, think, I think that would be cool be more realistic Lucas Arts. Lucas Arts. <laughs> Lucas Arts. If you're listening, uh, oh wait, now they're Disney. Oh yeah, they're Disney. So Disney, Disney. if uh, if you're listening, don't put Mal- Mickey Mouse ears on Darth Vader like mm-hmm. the next game you make. Please put like Princess Leia with the princess and stuff. Dude, make her tits bigger. That's all I'm asking. Or like, <laughs> or like have like all the Disney princesses in like the slave Leia outfit. Yeah, <laughs> like that'd be fucking fine. <laughs> well, I'm, I, what was your opinion on like the whole Star Wars thing? I was kind of glad because like, okay, great, they're gonna do more stuff. They're gonna do more marketing. They're gonna do more toys. They're gonna do. May, there's gonna be a new movie. Fuck yeah! Maybe it's the Thrawn trilogy. You never know. But what do you guys um, think? I didn't know how to react to it, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's just, it, it's, I thought it was like a very weird proposition. Then again, like, we had the Avengers, the Avengers was, 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 was a good, like, summer movie, like, you knew what you were going for, you're gonna, you're gonna go to see huge ass explosions, funny jokes, and, you know, they, Scar Johansson's tits. They totally like, did not, really. not taint, like, Marvel, that movie, like, no, it was, it was really good. What do you think, guys? Like, you're a diehard Star Wars fan. I am a diehard Star Wars fan, but like to this point now, that it doesn't really matter anymore to me. I mean, because I'm, because the way I I watched all six episodes more than once, you know. Yeah. Of course. And everything. I was a big Star Wars freak back in fourth grade, probably. But now it doesn't really matter because I don't really watch it. But like, well, it's gonna be revived by Disney, basically. So what do you? Um. Do you hope like for a new movie? Well, how do you continue the movies? It ended. Well, there's comic books that 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 shown like after like the Thrawn trilogy. Yeah, I know they made those different. Where like Han Solo, okay, spoiler alert, a little bit. Han Solo and like Leia have like twins like three years later along the line or something. No, shit like but that. when you start doing extra things away from what the what it was, it mm-hmm. kind of devastates the whole thing, and it's like, nah, I'm, you know, it's it's a different thing. It's not the same, you know. It's it's different. It's a different story. It's not the plot, the same plot that it was. Yeah. You know what I, I think just would ho- be cool? Wait, 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 like a bounty hunter movie. The one like, based like, on Boba Fett? Like, maybe not Boba Fett, Fett, like, No, like, like <laughs> Star Wars bounty hunters. Like, we already got to see the Jedi. We got, uh, by extent of that, we got to see, mm-hmm. like, how the Sith operate. Mm-hmm. I felt like th- we, we, you could... They need more story on Jango and Well, you, 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 you could explore... On Django, I mean, they chose Django 
Yeah, I feel like he was a filler character. Like, really. but like in the end, like they chose him. Remember, like in the movie, they chose him to clone him. Like mm-hmm. he, like technically, kind of like almost saying like he represented like a perfect soldier. I want to see what led up to that. You know, like what made this guy so badass. He only lasted a movie. Why did he? Why did he become? If you think about it, he was like the first clone. All the clone troopers, stormtroopers. What? What? Mm-hmm. What? They they set him up, like subconsciously. They mm-hmm. set him up to be such a badass character. I want to know what made him such a badass. I guess, yeah. I think that would be like interesting. Like a precursor of him? Yeah. yeah like well, he did have his own video game at one point. Yeah. yeah. Was, was it, was, it was pretty okay. It was a pretty good game. Uh, what do you think, Mario? What do you think about the Star Wars movie? You don't give, you're not that big of a Star Wars fan, right? I've never seen all of them. All I hope for is that they keep it a little bit nerdy, you know, keep it yeah. classic. Not like what Star Trek did, where it's like, oh, oh it's fucking know, awesome, dude. dude. Yeah. It's like, dude, I want William Shatner. Kind of thing. I don't want this badass. You know, I want corniness. That's why. That's why it's Star Star Trek was. Nah, that's. I don't like Star Trek, but that's why it was better than the this new one. Yeah. Yeah. So more hot alien babes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> three three boobs like in Total Recall. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you slept I mean, through that I, movie. I, 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 I mean, what? like. I never even saw it. No, we saw it at Joseph's house. You slept. Oh yeah, the one oh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, you slept. Oh yeah, because I've seen it already. Uh, the old one. I haven't yeah. seen the new one. I haven't seen either. Javi told me it was pretty all right. Well, Javi couldn't be here, bitch. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> he said it was all right. So I don't know. I think I'm. Just, uh, we're gonna have the podcast here. Are you guys hungry or anything? Low yeah, I'll be hungry. Where should ass. we go eat? McDonald's for the third time. Fuck in a row. that, dude! I've been eating McDonald's this whole week. Dude, Look, we said Pat's Kitchen or that fucking Monster Mac. It's like <laughs> oh the four the it's, it's more I'm down for whatever. I'll be hungry. Up the ass. Oh, popos. Oh, popos. Nah, fuck. Nah, I don't like that. Man. It has so much. There's green, taco palenque. Yes. Um. <laughs> Yeah, just say yes. All right, we, well, should, we should look the number for Pat's Kitchen and be dude. like, hey. Whoa. I think we're going to go to Pat's Kitchen. What, what Let's, try serve, man. Let's I, just go try that out. Dude, as soon as you guys had mentioned Fuddruckers earlier. Oh, no, yeah, fuck yeah, we, yeah, we said well, Fuddruckers earlier. Let's call, let's call Pat's Chicken, like that shit, and we'll be like, hey, man. It's a like a buffet. Nah, I say we go to Fuddruckers. We don't call Pat's. All right, yeah, so um, fucking do it. All right, I'm gonna officially end it here. So if you want to contact us, you can reach us at our email, timebombsquad at gmail.com. Um, you can comment on this video if you have any comments, questions, and we'll we'll answer them the next podcast hopefully. Um, and you can <laughs> you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash time bomb videos. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. I'm Arnold. I'm Franny. Mario. I'm Ice. We're gonna end it you here. Suck. All right, peace. <laughs> peace, man. <laughs>